Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what colleges I got into and like what scholarships I got and everything and how much the colleges cost. So I applied to nine different schools. So the first one I applied to was San Francisco, which I knew I wasn't going there. But I just kind of applied to it, which like the tuition is like insane, so I definitely wouldn't go there. But the only reason I applied there is because my sister lives there. So like the scholarship I got to that school was thirteen thousand, which is six thousand five hundred per semester, which adds up to fifty two thousand. But the tuition for that school is seventy thousand, so it's not really that affordable. So I lied, the tuition is actually 50000 a year, but then when you have my scholarship on there, it would be 37000 about per year, but that's not really good considering there's like other fees you have to pay still, so yeah. So I was definitely not going there. Another school I applied to was Spring Hill College. I got accepted into it. And I got a scholarship for $27,500. The out-of-state tuition is $54,300, so it ended up being $26,800 per um, year or whatever, which I made it more affordable for like in-state, but I didn't really have like a desire to go there. I just applied there because of like beach volleyball, basically. So. For Ball State University, I applied and I got accepted. My scholarship is for nineteen thousand five hundred, and the cost is thirty six thousand seven hundred. But I don't think they realize that like where I live, you get in state tuition at Ball State, even though I live in Ohio and Ball State is in Indiana, because it's like the tuition, like that thing where they like um, you help like other people from different states can get um, like tuition because it's like actually really close. The school I gone to was Miami University and I got a scholarship of $2,000. In state tuition for Miami is actually really cheap. It said, well this is from 2016 to 2017, but it says 14736 which is actually like really cheap. So that's pretty good. Xavier was the next school that I applied to and I got a $20,000 scholarship. But this school is private, so it's like pretty expensive. And like the thing with Xavier is like they don't have like in-state tuition, out-of-state tuition. It's like all the same for everyone since it's private. So it's thirty-six thousand one hundred fifty dollars a year. So basically, with my scholarship, it would be sixteen thousand one hundred fifty dollars. The next school I got accepted into was Dayton, and I got a. $98,000 scholarship for like all four years but let's see how much like the actual school is and Dane's private too so it's not um, they don't have in-state tuition even though I live in Ohio so the tuition for this is 40940 which I can't do math in my head but with the ninety-eight thousand would be about twenty-five thousand a year, so it ended up being like fifteen thousand per year. So that's not awful. Also, like, was not set to go in there. Got accepted there. Austin P. I got accepted. Um. So originally, I think they gave me like a little bit of scholarship money, but it like wasn't a lot. But their out of state is twenty-two thousand nine hundred. 29 but they said they'd match the in-state tuition for me even though i'm not in-state so it would have been 7,689 which is actually really good and then ou ohio university i got accepted in there as well i got a scholarship for three thousand dollars which i don't know if that's like per year or if that's like in total so the in-state tuition for ou is 11,744 and out of state is 21,000 something which doesn't really matter so I think with this it would have been like 8,000 or whatever so 
I got accepted. I got accepted into all of those schools, but I decided not to go there. The school I'm going to is University of Cincinnati. The in-state tuition for um, UC is eleven thousand. I think it's gone up a little bit since then because this was like two thousand sixteen to two thousand nineteen. The nice thing about UC is they're not changing their tuition for the next like five years or like. The year I'm in, you, like, it's staying the same. They have, like, a tuition guarantee that is staying the same for the next five years, so that's nice. The only thing is, like, I have to buy, like, a MacBook, and I have to get, like, art supplies because I'm in, like, design school. I also wanted to share with you guys my, like, stats or whatever on, like, the ACT and the SAT. So on the ACT, the first time I took it, I got a 26, and then the second time I took it, I got a 24. Which is like really weird, you know, we don't do worse the second time, but I don't know. And then for the SAT, I don't know exactly what I got, like, number-wise for the SAT, but I know, like, if you translate it back to the ACT, it's like a 25, so it was worse than my ACT score anyways. So, yeah, and then my GPA in high school was a 3.71, which isn't, like, amazing, but it's still, like, good, because I got into, like, a pretty good program, so I was pretty happy with myself. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe, join the fam. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.